Hi, my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, I have another Vegan Cuts unboxing for you today and I am super excited for several reasons. A, I'm always really excited for Vegan Cuts. Two, this box feels heavier than it normally does. But most importantly, I am now an affiliate for Vegan Cuts. It's been a long time coming. I finally applied for the program and got accepted and I'm super excited because Vegan Cuts is one of the main reasons that I went vegan. They're one of the main reasons I started this YouTube channel. They've been a part of my YouTube channel since I started. So I'm super excited that I'm finally an affiliate for them because I love them so, 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 so much. So with that said, if you are watching this video and you are wanting to try out Vegan Cuts, I am now going to be leaving an affiliate link down below and that is a great way to help out my channel as well as trying out all of these amazing goodies that I'm obsessed with. It's like Christmas every single month and it's like a double Christmas this month. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got. Here we go. Alrighty, da -da -da, there it is. Okay, so every single month you are going to get a card that looks like this and it always has an adorable little animal on the front and look at this guy he's so cute oh little buddy and it is showing one of the animals that is a part of an organization that vegan cuts is supporting that month so for instance this month's box supports theodore and friends at la saw sanctuary in Worcester, Ohio. Hopefully I said those words right I'm not sure if I did but they always show you one of the little guys right there so there's theodore <laughs> I'm obsessed. Oh. And then on the back, it's going to share the different brands that you got, possibly some information about them as well. And then at the bottom, it's gonna tell you about a bonus that you got. And then just some more information about the box in general. But let's go ahead and see what we got. I saw these. Guys, I've been so bad at these unboxings because I always like to surprise myself. And I feel like recently I always look down and then I always see what it is. So I saw these and I'm already really excited because I love this brand. And that is these guys right here. These are hippies and the flavor is Nacho Vibes. I've actually tried these before. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I think my favorite flavor is still like the white cheddar ones. I just think those are so iconic and they're so good. And they are definitely like part of my top 10 favorite vegan snacks out there. Um, but I have tried these and they are really good. So I'm excited to be able to snack down on these. They are gluten-free, kosher, vegan, non-GMO. They have no nuts and no soy as well, which I absolutely love. Okay, next. This time I'll be surprised. This time I have no clue. Okay, let's grab whatever you are. This is, ooh, this is steamed and marinated artichokes, basil and thyme. And the brand I believe is Poshi, Poshi, however you say that. I love artichokes. I am definitely one of those people that like puts artichokes on my vegan pizza. I just love it so much. So um, I'm super excited. I've never had just like artichokes by themselves though. That's not something that I have done before. So this will be something new. And honestly, probably what I'll do is throw it in a salad, throw it on some pizza maybe, or you know, whatever it might be. I'll probably just throw it on something else. One of the things that I love about my vegan cuts boxes, and I'm sure I talk about this in almost every single one of my videos, is that I'm always surprised with something. There's always something new and different that I can try that month. And it's one of the reasons that like with vegan cuts, I was encouraged to go vegan is because I saw there were endless options nowadays. I mean, I know it's gotten a lot easier as the years go on and we're going to continue to get more and more options, but I just thought like, oh, there's no vegan snacks out there. There's no like whatever. It's going to be so hard to be vegan. And then I kept getting all these new brands and these new snacks from Vegan Cuts. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many brands out there that are vegan. This is insane. So many different products. So that's what I love. I just love them so, so, so much. But let's go ahead and move on. I think this is a beverage. See. Oh, woo! no, it's not. Okay, so this is pure, organic, sugar-free, harmless honey. And I'm super excited for this because one of my favorite like vegan honey brands out there, Bee Free Honey, unfortunately just closed, which makes me so sad. But I'm excited because now there's another brand that I can look into. I know there's Bumble Bloom that's based in Canada and they have really good vegan honey. Um, but I'm excited to try this out. In fact, I might just like pour some on my finger and try it out for you guys, <laughs> see what it's like. How weird is that? I'm a weird person, that's okay. So there are a lot of alternatives to vegan honey. Some are made out of like apples, which I think is really interesting. And then there's things like uh, agave and things like that. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. See if I can show you. I'm, I'm so worried it's gonna go everywhere on me. Ooh, I should have thought this through. Oh no! It's a little bit runnier. 
Um, I'm going to be honest with you, now that I have fake honey everywhere, I don't think I would use this as a straight up vegan honey replacement. For those of you who don't like stevia, this definitely has a stevia flavor to it. It doesn't really taste like honey in any way, but if you're just looking for a sweetener of some sort, that's kind of what I would think of using this for. But I wouldn't use it, like I'd rather buy Bumble Bloom, which is probably the brand that I'm gonna go for once I'm done with all my bee-free honey products. But I don't know about this. This just feels more like I want a healthy alternative to a sweetener. You know, like I, I'd use it the same way I would use agave and things like that. That's probably what I'll use this for. Okay, well, now I'm I don't wanna, I have to look down because I don't wanna get all this all over me. Okay, what are you? You are a drink. This is, oh no, I don't know if I can pronounce that. Pyrk, Pyrk, uh, plant protein superfoods, but the flavor is almonds, curcumin, and maca. Decadent chocolate. There's definitely times where I'm on the go coming up soon. So something like this will be really nice to make sure I'm still getting like a good amount of protein in, to make sure I'm at least meeting the like standard requirements that you should be getting for protein every day, which is not very hard on the vegan diet, just saying. Or a plant-based diet, however you like to phrase it. Okay, let's, I'm gonna grab this because I know honey got on this because I looked down and saw it. Okay, so this is Benito's sea salt flavor. I have had Benito's before and I remember liking their chips um for something like this where it's just like sea salt flavored i'll probably use it as a dip for like something like it makes some guac at home or maybe for some salsa um we'll kind of see how i want to use it but i don't generally eat sea salt by itself so this will probably just turn into like some sort of like chip dip kind of thing Alrighty, i'm just so worried i'm gonna write in some honey so we're just gonna be careful about what's on top we're gonna go with this you are covered in honey as well kibbo chickpea chips mediterranean herbs yeah that sounds good again this will probably become like a chip dip kind of thing for me one of the things that i do love about vegan cuts is they've really been trying to get a good balance of salty and sweet um i feel like with the older boxes it used to be just very sweet heavy and then you'd have some salty things and i'm more of a salty person than a sweets person so i've been loving this like nice blend of the two i think that's been really awesome uh let's go with whatever you are that also has honey in it. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry my lighting is like insane, you guys. It's so dark outside right now that I have my light helping out. Okay, it's in this like mystery bag right here. So let's go ahead and open it and see. Oh, it's like a few different like bars. These guys, they are Lara bars. I actually do get these. Um, let's see if I have the, the flavor that I get. Um, nope. I like that they sent you four of them. That's really, really cool. I'm not gonna do a close up on all four of these, so I'm just gonna do a close up on one really quick while I talk about them. So I got four different flavors. I got apple pie, I got peanut butter chocolate chip, cashew cookie, and peanut butter cookie. The peanut butter ones are definitely going to my husband because I'm not a huge peanut butter fan, but um, the other two sound really, really intriguing. I don't know if I've had the apple pie before. The two that I've gotten before have been their lemon one, and then the one that I currently buy is their mint chip one. So nice. I thought that's really cool that they put it in this like little like reusable bag with like a little V on it. It's so cute. Um, and I love that this is like something that I can reuse in my household as well. Okay, next, let's go with this. What are you? Theo, sea salt, dark chocolate, and it is 70% dark chocolate. For those of you who watched my Christmas treats, like snack taste test kind of thing, um, I had a Theo bar that I tried on there that was so delicious and so good. Theo is not an all vegan brand. I think some of their chocolate bars do have like milk chocolate, but they are very good. I don't think I've been disappointed by any Theo chocolate that I've had in the past. Like I've had some of their like, um, like cluster guys and those are really, really yummy. I've had some of their chocolate bars. So this is definitely a brand that I think does a really, really great job with their products. Alrighty, let's go with whatever this is. These are hemp hearts, spicy, interesting. And I think the brand is called Humming Hemp. Hemp seeds are definitely a great thing to have lying around and you can just throw them in like a few different things um, just because they're so healthy and they're so good for you. So I've never had like spicy ones though before. I don't know, this is interesting. So for example, they recommend that you can sprinkle them, you can blend it into something, you can add it into something, or you can eat them straight up. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan with straight up hemp seeds. That's something I haven't been able to do. What I usually do for hemp seeds is I usually sprinkle it into some salads or like um, sometimes maybe stir fry or something like that. Something noodle or rice based is what I would sprinkle this on too. But I'm super excited that, that they're spicy. I think that's really awesome. I love everything spicy. So this is definitely 
something I'm gonna throw into my salads because yum. Alrighty, let's go with you, your box. You are Ellendale Organics Keto Coconut Infusions, Organic Virgin Coconut Oil Packets. It also has a non-dairy butter flavor. That is so cool. I'm gonna take a look at these. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. Okay, so they come in packets that look like this and it feels soft like, like melted butter, not melted butter, like butter that you've kept out of the fridge for a while. That's kind of what it feels like. It's just very soft. The perfect non-dairy spread on toast, as a boost to your coffee, or as buttery drizzle on popcorn or in your favorite dish. I forget that people put butter in coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so both of that just sounds disgusting. I've done like coconut-based um, vegan butters before, and I haven't had a problem with those in the past. So this is just really, really cool and really interesting. Very cool. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is something I never would have known about unless I got my vegan cuts boxes, because this isn't something that like, every single day I'm like searching on the web. You know, if I'm doing like a whole like video on vegan butters, then normally I look up stuff like this, but I haven't done that in a while. So this is really, really cool. If you wanna know what this vegan butter is like, let me know in the comments below, cause it's been a while since I've done a review on a vegan butter. So, and this one just really intrigues me. So I might do a video on it anyways, but let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in. Okay, next product is this Mocha Chocolate Chocolate Maca. It is no go dark. Nugo Dark, maybe is how you pronounce it. And this is a protein bar. You get 10 grams of protein. It's also gluten-free. I've really been trying to do a lot more protein bars just because I'm going to the gym more often, trying to be healthy. <laughs> Sometimes it works. But so I've tried to have a lot of protein bars around, so I'm happy that I have like another one. So far, my favorite has definitely been good snacks. Their mint chip is like my go-to. It's so good. Okay, let's see here. We have, what are you? Bobo's Oat Bites chocolate chip. Some of Bobo's products I absolutely love. There was one I got in a different vegan cuts like a while back that kind of looked like this. I loved it. And then I tried their Pop-Tarts and I did it. However, I've had people comment on that video that they're in love with those vegan Pop-Tarts. So it definitely is like a personal preference kind of thing. But uh, I'm gonna go try this because I remember liking something like this that I've gotten from them previously and it was in a, roughly the same shape as this. Okay, here we go. It's like a denser muffin in a way is kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know if it's supposed to be a muffin. That's just kind of like the shape just reminds me of a muffin. However, the flavors are really, really good. And I like the textures, just you have to think of it as something that's denser than like a muffin. I think they did a great job on this. So I don't know why I didn't like their pop charts. I just was not a fan. We're gonna save the rest of that for after the video because I think this is my last product and then I'm done with this box. So this is the Navitas Vanilla and Greens Organic Essential Superfood Blend. So for this, I've never had something like this before. So they recommend that you blend with eight ounces of a beverage of your choice. You stir into cereals, yogurts, or recipes, or you boost with Navitas powders or boosts for extra taste and nutrition. Try, and this is how it suggests trying it, one pack plus half a banana and milk. Blend and enjoy. Very cool. I've never honestly tried that, and so I guess maybe one day I'll try it. I get kind of nervous with superfood blends, um, but again, the new year is coming around. We're all trying to be healthier, so maybe this is the time to like force myself to do it and see what it tastes like. <laughs> but I do know Navitas is like a really great brand if you are looking for superfoods. They have so many different healthy options out there. They're amazing. But okay, guys, that is everything for this box. I'm gonna put it on the screen everything so you can see it all at once. I think my favorite thing slash the thing I'm most excited to try is probably, <laughs> for sure, this Bobo guy. This is really good. It's a nice snack. It tastes delicious. I'd say the other two things that I'm like really excited about and really like intrigued to try out is this vegan butter right here. I love trying out new things like this because I'm kind of weird like that, but I'm also just because it's spicy. These hemp guys, I'm super excited to try them in uh, a salad because I just think they're gonna be like a nice little like nice kick. Not gonna lie, the thing that I'm the least excited to use up is this guy, and that's only because it had like a really interesting taste, and my husband does not like stevia, so I know I'm gonna be the only one using this. So I'll probably try to throw it in like some teas that I know have strong flavors or things like that. Just things that need a little bit of sweetening maybe, but where I'm not gonna mind if there's that little stevia taste to it. But that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this unboxing. And again, if Vegan Cuts is something that you want to try out, I'm going to have a link down below. I'm also going to have some coupon codes for you guys to try out. So you can go ahead and use those. 
As I said earlier, this is a great way to help out my channel. I'm so excited that I'm finally an affiliate for Bean Cuts. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and so I'm so glad that I finally applied and got accepted. It's super exciting. But if there are any products that you are wanting me to highlight some way in my channel, whether it's a review like for the vegan butter or what I eat in the day, let me know in the comments below because I'll definitely make sure to try and highlight that some way on my channel so you can see what I think about the product. And for those of you who are going to be starting Veganuary in the next couple of days, I hope this is something that you found helpful just to like hear about what brands I already know about that I already enjoy and I've used their products before or just being able to see the different like vegan products that are out there already. I hope this has been able to show you that there are so many options out there. Plus, I do have some Veganuary videos coming out for you shortly. I'm super excited for them. I think they're going to be really, really helpful for you. I also have some videos from the past. I'm going to make a playlist. I'll link that down below in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out for anyone who is starting this journey of veganism or just a plant-based diet. Hopefully, you find those really, really helpful. But it's getting super dark, you guys, so I'm going to end the video here. If you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for all my future content. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps on my channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.